Welcome back to Religions of the World. Now we are starting our fourth religion, Buddhism. And here you see the symbol for Buddhism. Uh, I wonder what it is that you see. Many people think it's like a steering wheel of a ship. Yes, looks like it, right? But actually, don't worry about those knobs on the outside. That's uh, really not uh, necessarily part of the symbol. What it is is just the ends of the spokes. But when you have a wheel, what does that remind you of again? By now you should kind of think about that, right? The wheel would be again a symbol for samsara, for the cycle of reincarnation, or the, or the cycle of karma that makes the Atman to be reincarnated. Well, that of course then would transfer to Buddhism as well. It is, in Buddhism it is oftentimes called a Dharma wheel. And a little bit later I will show you a little bit more intricate uh, symbol, not just simply the wheel with the eight spokes. And by the way, the eight spokes are going to be important in uh, Buddhism. Buddhism is also the fourth religion that we see originating from northern India here. Remember when we had Sikhism, we went all the way down there to the Punjab region, all the way to the western part of northern India. Then when we had Jainism and the beginning with um, Mahavir, we went here to the Bihar region, right here. And now we're just going a little bit north to what is Nepal today, but, but back then was called Lumbini. Here we meet another prince by the name of Siddhartha Gautama. He was a slightly younger contemporary of Mahavir. Uh, his, he was born in 563 and died in 483 BCE. But it's about the same time period and Siddhartha Gautama was possibly a disciple of Mahavir. Here we have a picture of the place in Lumbini where people come to, to see the birthplace or the origin of Buddhism where Siddhartha Gautama grew up. Um, in the video that we see later you will recognize the pool that is here. Uh, you will also recognize the, the tree, the Ashoka tree. Um, and here you have uh, the, the remains of an old monastery that used to be placed right in this location. The life story of Siddhartha Gautama is much better told by video. But when you watch this next video, I want you to pay attention to a few things. First of all, of course, look for these symbols of the pool and the Ashoka tree. Um, look also for wheels. Uh, there are several places where in the video you'll see the wheels. Um, and see what else you can get, because the video is full with uh, the basic teachings of Buddhism. After we see the video, you have a chance to respond first to see what it is that you got out of the video by watching it for the first time. And then we will go over the video ourselves and pull out all the uh, Buddhist basic teachings. And so good luck, watch the video.